22 tips that you should know about iPhone 14 and probably other iPhones too. Stick around to the end for a bonus one. When we turn on the phone for the first time, if we touch it, we're gonna have two icons on the front, which is the flashlight and the card. In order to open these two applications, we're gonna hold, let's say on the camera, for instance, we're gonna press and hold, and the camera will open. If we want to close it, all we do is swipe up. The same thing for the flashlights, we're gonna hold it for two seconds, and now we have light. And we turn them off by pressing and hold the button. When you open your phone for the first time, it's gonna look like this. And that's the home screen. As you can see, there's four dots on the bottom. And then that means there's four pages around. So we're gonna get this one, two, three, four. And that's the reason why is because I already downloaded a couple of new applications. And then if you slide one more time to the right, you're gonna find the application library where you can find all the applications that are installed in your phone. If you wanna open the, the stash, all you gotta do is just tap once and then you're gonna see all the different applications that are safe. And these are the recently added applications. So we're gonna slide back. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the home screen. And if you slide to the left, that's where you're gonna find another page where you can see new stories, apps, widget, and different applications that were installed. If you wanna delete applications, all we gotta do is just press and hold on the screen and the application is gonna start dancing. So let's say I wanna delete Canvas. So I'm gonna click on the minus and it's gonna say delete application, remove from home screen or cancel. If you hit delete application, it will delete actually from your phone. So let's select remove from home screen and done. So if you wanna add it back, we're gonna slide to the back again, and then we're gonna look for the application we just deleted. Let me see, it's right here. So I'm gonna click once, and there it is. So I'm gonna click it, and it's gonna give you a menu where it says your design, add to home screen, share application, or delete app. So I'm gonna add to the home screen. And it's back again. In order to access the control center, we're gonna slide down on the top right corner. This is the basic setup the phone comes with it. You have Bluetooth, um, wireless, and airplane mode if you need to. You can also dim the light up and down and also control the volume as well as calculator, timer, flash drive, etc. If we wanna add more widgets to it, we're gonna close this down and we're gonna go in settings. And then we're gonna go into control center. Right here, you can see included controls. That means these are the ones that are already there. But if you want to add more stuff, let's say I want to have a magnifier. So I'm going to click plus and the magnifier is already there. What about if I want to add, let's say, low power mode. Hey, what about, uh, in a, and also if I want to uh, include screen recording, which I do a lot. So we're going to go back. Remember to always go back here in settings and then swipe up to go to the main page and then we're going to swipe down and then you see now we have a three new apps already there magnifier the power mode and also the screen recorder just in case you're familiar with this application which is called home at the beginning when i set it up actually for some reason it was added to my uh, control center and it's because it was selected like this it actually automatically selected so if you see it, that is there as you can see now, and if you want to remove it, all you got to do is just go back to the settings, unselect it, it will be gone. Also, if you want to deactivate all these controls, all we got to do is just click on it and then remove it. And then once we go back over there, it's not there anymore. But in this case, I want to do a screen recorder, so I'm going to bring it back. So what we're here, we're gonna do a screen recorder. Screen recorder works like this. So basically you're ready to go, just press it. And it was gonna count three, two, one, and we'll start recording. So all you gotta do is just record whatever you had to do. I mean, if you're recording a video or something, whatever it is, um, that's it. And then if you wanna stop them, you can either go here and stop them or go into the island and then press stop. So recording saved two photos. So we're gonna go into photos and you see this right there already. It's this guy right here. Or we can go into album and we're gonna scroll all the way down and right here it says a screen recording. So I'm gonna click in there and here it is. So after you're playing with your phone for several hours or days, you have ended up with a lot of open pages. So in order to access those pages, we're gonna swipe up. That's how you access all these pages that are actually running in the background. And we got a idea to find them and start closing them down. Or the other way you can do is just swiping to the left and right. And you see they're all there. 
Okay, so let's say you already open it and then you play around for a little bit and then the screen shuts off. And if we want to go back again, you have to enter the password again. So in order to avoid this, what we got to do is go in settings. We're going to scroll down all the ways where it says face ID and passcode. And you're going to enter your passcode again. And here we're going to scroll down. And as you can see, required passcode is being selected as immediately. So we're gonna click there, and then we're gonna select one immediately all the way out to four hours. So my ideal thing is five minutes. So I'm gonna select it there, I'm gonna double click on it, and it's already check mark. I'm gonna go back, and in here also, as you can see, you can turn passcode off, or you can change the passcode. Now we're gonna test it out, we're gonna close it, and then we don't need a passcode for another five minutes. Screen time out. Pretty much the same thing. All we're gonna do is slide up. We're gonna go into setting. In this case, my screen actually is 30 seconds. So we're gonna go into the display and brightness. When you scroll down, and right here it says auto lock. So we're gonna click there. And as you can see, in 30 seconds, my screen actually auto locks. But I don't want to do that because it's a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna ask him to be, I'm gonna ask to be three minutes. So that way it's basically on all the time. Since we're here in this menu on display and brightness, in this page you can actually change the appearance for light to dark or you can set it automatically. So if I have it as light right now, but if I click on dark, it will, just, it will go dark. But I like to leave it to automatically so that way at nighttime it actually it dims down. You can also change the text size. Let's click on there and as you can tell it has a specific uh, size. So it will bring it up, it's gonna be a bigger. So we're gonna go back and the size of the text is bigger all over the phone. Here. So we're gonna go back on the text size <laughs> and then we're gonna bring it here. This is actually good for people that, that would like to see your letters bigger well, while texting. So I'm gonna bring it a little higher, say right here, a little bit big. So I'm gonna go into texting for instance and I'm gonna go here and as you can tell, the fonts are actually bigger. And then if you want the text to be actually bold, you can also do that. And as you can tell, all the text is bold. And that applies for the whole phone actually. How to make a correction when I'm typing something. So I have, so I wrote, hey everyone, but there's a mistake and there's no option actually to to that shows to replace it. So what am I gonna do if when I touch it, if I wanna touch it the specific place where I wanna remove the, those letters, doesn't let me. So what I can do is just press and hold on the bar and you see that I can actually go left and right with the cursor. So I place the cursor where I wanna make the corrections. So now I can proceed and remove the letter, just one. Dictation is one of the things that I really love to use because it's saving a lot of time while typing. So I'm gonna click on the microphone so every time I start saying something, it actually is, is, is typing by itself. So that way it saves me time for sending a text. You know, when I'm done, I just double check to make sure that it's correct. And to start recording, you press the microphone once again. And then just make any changes that you need to make. And that's all. But if you want to make sure that that dictation works, you're going to go into settings. We're going to go into general, keyboard, and just make sure that these two options are selected. Enable dictation and auto punctuation. Let's say I wanna change it, I wanna add another language to my keyboard. Anyone you want, in my case, I'm gonna do Spanish because I do both, but you can do your own language, whatever it is. You know, we're gonna get out of there. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into general. We're gonna go into keyboards. And then on the top where it says keyboard, I'm gonna click there. And right here, we're gonna add new keyboard. And I want to call this Spanish. And it says Spanish Latin America. So I'm going to select that. And it's there already, I believe. Yeah, if we go back, now it says three. So we're going to go back to our text message. And now we have a little word on the left corner. That means we have more options. So I'm going to click in there. It's actually swiping. If we hold it, it will show English emoji and Spanish. And then if we do this, it will just tap in from Spanish to English. Okay, screenshot. The easiest way to do screenshots is by holding the power button and the volume up button. 
at once. And there it is. And if you want to find them, they're going to be on photos. Click there, you click on album, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and then you see a folder where it says screenshots. And that's the last one we did. Adding contacts to your phone book. So what we're going to do is go into the phone, click on contact, which is right here. And then we're going to go and click on the plus on the top. And then we're going to enter all the necessary information. Paul, Shin, uh, address, email, even website, you name it. And then we save it and then polishing is in your phone book. Just when you start adding um, all these phone numbers, just make sure you're, uh, you can create a list over here, add list, 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 but you can make sure it's on your iCloud so that way when you change phone, it actually will bring all the phones to your new phone. So the search bar is actually right there. There's one way to open it is just by doing that, by clicking in there and we, we can search for anything we want. So if we type wine, it's gonna give you a widget series suggestion mean online maps to different places they serve liquor and city suggests the websites and so on I mean if you have somebody with the name wine it probably will be there on your contact list too the other way to open the search bar is by, by scrolling down okay if we want to change the wallpaper all we gotta do is go to settings and go to wallpaper and then we can add new wallpaper and then we can choose for different ones that already add, add it into your phone like color collections emojis weather astronomy or a photo what i like is this one so i'm gonna select it and i'm gonna add it to my my phone and then it shows you how it's gonna look and then set it as a wallpaper and then we're gonna go back and now we have a different wallpaper. How to airdrop a picture or video to anybody or computer. So what we're gonna do is go on photos and then on album, we're gonna select the video or picture that you wanna send to anybody or a computer. So we're gonna select this picture and then we're gonna select the share button. And right here it says airdrop and you can also actually send messages, emails, send it to um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and so on. So what we're gonna do is just airdrop and then all the devices that are actually a Bluetooth activated are gonna be appearing here. So I'm gonna send it to my iMac and you can hear my iMac receiving the photo. How do you use Siri? Um, it's pretty easy. All we're gonna do is say, hey Siri, and it would appear in here. How's the weather like? It's currently clear and 75 degrees. Expect partly cloudy skies starting in the evening. Temperatures are heading down from 79 degrees to 70 degrees this evening. Great, thank you. Okay, the other way to use Siri is also to hold the button and it will appear here. The side buttons, the one on the right side is the power button. You can turn off your phone and you can also dim the screen. If you want to turn off the phone, all you gotta do is press hold the power button and the volume down button at once and it will give you this menu. You have the choice to slide to power off to call SOS for amazing call or just cancel. It's gonna cancel. The side buttons on the left are the volume buttons. The one on the bottom is the volume down and the one on the top is the volume up, as you can see on this video. The, there's a button on this side where you actually bring it up and it will say ring. And if you bring it down, it becomes silence. If we're using the camera, these buttons right here actually serve as a shutter. So we can click on it and we take pictures. Click on it, we take pictures. At the bottom of the phone, there's a speaker. There's the charger connection, and this is the microphone. So when you're filming or doing blogging, just make sure you don't to cover the microphone. Otherwise, it's gonna sound muffled. Just in case we put it in a stand like this, that probably would cover the microphone. Hey Siri, turn off the phone. Just to confirm, you want to power off this device. Confirm. All right, Fox, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please put a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have any question, save this video, share it with your friend, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.